Hi everybody, this is Nir from Novisign. Today I'm going to show you how to use the console management system. Well, first of all, you need to log into your domain. Now let's type the username and the password. Now, maybe you notice that, maybe not, but here the rightmost uh, link is called manage. If I click the manage, this is something which only partners have. If I click it, I'm gonna get this uh, second login screen. Now let's type again the username and the password and press login. Now this is the username of the managing user of the partner. Only with this user I can gain access to this screen of the console management. So what do I see here? Here I see a table with all my users, all the users which I manage, and this is how it goes. There are several columns in this table. The first one it's the shows me if the user is enabled or disabled. The second one will show me if this is a share only user. The third one will show me if this is a licensed user. Then I can see the login, that means the username. I can sort it by ascending, descending, also with the last login, create, date, first name, last name, and also when was the last notification date. So, if I like to search for a user, I can use this, uh, these uh, search text boxes here on top. I have the login, first name, last name. Let's try, for example, here. Let's type this one. See, the moment I started typing the first letters of the username, it already showed me that. Now it will show me all the user which has the Y in their name. And if I'd like to press the clear search, it will clear the search. If I'd like to uh, edit any user, I just need to click it. For example, this one. Let's click it. Now, after clicking that, I get uh, a screen with the user details in which I can delete the user, I can watch the user, and I can also edit any detail I'd like to edit in this user. Let's press the edit button. Now I can make it enable, disable, also share only, uh, edit some details as the first and last names. I can also check the checkbox to, uh, to force this user to reset its password and also set an explicit password for this user. Then I have to press the save button and if I don't, I can just press the cancel. All right, now if I press the clear search, I'll get back to the first screen with all the user list. And if I want, I can also create a new user this is the only way I can let users to uh, access uh, my subdomain as a partner only by creating them from here. So here I'll type the, the login name, which actually is the username, which is supposed to be the user's email. Also first name, last name, and everything else. Then I press the save button, and then I get a new user. Well, this is how it is being done. So remember, this is the administration system for partners. Well, that's all for today, folks. Signing out.